Welcome to the Inksoft Proposals Guide. So, Inksoft Core Proposals. Uh, proposals are an on-the-spot order building tool. So, you'll build an order here if a customer calls you or walks into your shop. You'll send that order to them through their email and they'll open it up and they'll be able to pay you through the payment processor. So, just hit create here in the top right and you'll start at the top left and just work your way down. So, you can search a name here if you want to or create a new customer on the spot. Create, give the proposal a name, um, store assignment. Any store that you've created in your account will be listed here. And if you select that store, then this proposal will be will appear in your order manager as if it was placed under that store. Um, assignee, any admin account that you create is then listable as an assignee here. So this is for you to track who's bringing in which sale. Uh, PO number, this is here. If the customer is going to pay you with a PO, you would type in their PO number here. Uh, this isn't for your supplier. Expiration date and enhanced date are both optional. So if you don't use these, don't worry about it. But expiration date, if you set a date here and the customer doesn't pay you by this day, it will close the proposal on this day. Um, enhanced date is a custom estimate you give to the customer saying we'll get it to you in your hands by this day. Uh, taxation, generally pretty safe to leave this at automated tax rate. Uh, we are integrated with TaxJar, which is the best in the industry, so it knows which states uh, do and don't charge tax for out-of-state orders, and for any state or any orders inside your state, it will adjust the tax rate automatically based on their zip code. Proposal notes are internal, so customers won't see these. Um, your payment details, this is where you decide how you want to charge the customers, so it's all in the payment terms here. Uh, payment in full upon approval, this is the option that will charge full price. You can say no deposit required or request a deposit here. So you've got two options here. You can enter a dollar amount deposit and just type that in here, or you've got a percentage of the total. So you can say 50% down and then balance due date. This controls when the customer is going to pay you the rest. So the remaining balance, uh, fixed date or days from approval. So if you choose a fixed date here, just choose the day. I would just line this up with the expiration date. So the difference between the due date and the expiration date. If I didn't set an expiration date here and the customer missed payment by the due date, they could still pay you after. It's only the expiration date that will close down the proposal. Where you've got days from approval, which just means once they pay their 50% deposit in this case, they would then have 14 calendar days to pay you the rest. It doesn't give them a date, it just counts down this number on the proposal. Uh, shipping details, we can't attach shipping or pickup until we have products on the proposal, so we'll get to this in a sec. And then display settings, you can turn off your manufacturer and your SKU from displaying to the customer if you want to, just turn those off here. So we'll build the proposal. Uh, we've got add product, add art, add service, and add custom. We'll start here, it stands for add custom line item. Uh, these are super open-ended and really tempting for a lot of people to use, but you have to keep in mind that we can't track custom line items through our purchasing or production system. And that's because they're not actual products that come with like the SKU, sizing, color data, and all that stuff. It's just a custom line item. Don't use these if it's something that you need to track through any sort of production workflow. But a use case for this would be, say you have an item, it's already been decorated in your shop and it's ready to be shipped. And you don't want to, you know, waste time creating a product from scratch and filling out all that information. You can just upload a picture of the item here. Just open this up and you can upload an image here. Type in the name of the item, color, size, weight, price. And you can add lines here to adjust quantity and sizes. And just add that to the proposal. Add service. Uh, anything you create here is reusable. So if I create a new service here, let's say processing fee. You can choose an hourly rate to charge them or a per item rate and make it taxable or not and just hit create and it'll save that. And then when you add this to the proposal, you can choose how many items it's for or how many hours you worked on it. Add art, it's pretty basic. Just upload your art file here. Um, once you upload it, you can put notes on it so the customer can expand the art file and zoom in and they can also see the notes. And then add product. This area here draws from every product in your entire account, including decorated products on your storefronts. Uh, you can even filter here to any specific store in your account to see those decorated products and pull them in from the store to the proposal. Or you can decorate a blank product here. Choose the colors you want to offer, hit next. Uh, you've got total control in the proposal, so you can sell blanks if you want to, keep it blank. 
estimate art price. This is here. If you don't have the artwork on hand, but you still need to charge your print fees, you can still charge your print fees this way. And then once you get your hands on the artwork, you can upload it to the product later. And then you've got upload art. So upload your art here. There we go. Create mockup. And then on this page, you'll enter your quantity for each size. I'm just hitting tab here to go to the next line. Once you have your quantity entered, um, you'll then choose how you're going to decorate each side. So for this example, we're just decorating the front. So that's the only side we need to assign decoration to. Let's say it's going to be a screen print job and it's a six color job. Now, when I add this to the proposal, it's going to bring in the screen print pricing that this SKU is assigned to automatically to the proposal. So add to proposal. Uh, these product notes here, these are visible by everyone, including the customer. So if you're doing any sort of personalization, names and numbers for a team or something like that, you'll want to put that information in here. And we'll save it. So now that we have products on the proposal, we can now uh, add shipping or pickup. So let's do a pickup method here. We go save it and now it's ready to be sent to the customer so when you want to send the proposal just hit the paper airplane icon up here send proposal and you've got three different options here all three of these do the same exact thing the functionality doesn't change it's just the look is different so if i had to choose a favorite it would be the approval because it has the most information on it uh, you can preview each one of these if you just hit the three dots up here and go to customer view so I'll show you the approval here. So this is what the customer is going to see when they open up their email view proposal. Here's their expiration date. They can approve and pay up here. Um, cost per, per garment. They won't see a setup fee or any print price, just cost per garment. Uh, the approval is the only version of proposal that has view details. So if you click this, it lets you zoom in on the product, inspect the artwork, make sure everything looks nice. Got your product description and a size chart here. Also, uh, customers can leave comments up here. So if you open this up, customer can post a comment here. You'll then get an email notification and then back on the proposal. Let me just refresh here. You can then open this up and you'll see their comment and you can respond back. So when you're ready to send it, just send proposal, choose the option you want. And then once your payment terms have been met here, so in this case, once they pay their 50% deposit, it then generates an order from the proposal. Or if you want to, you can just manually push this proposal over to orders. So hit the three dots up here and go to send to orders, which is what we'll do here. Send to orders. There we go. Now that the proposal has been converted to an order, it's locked down. At least the proposal is. So you can still make adjustments to the, to the order, but the proposal is now locked. Uh, if you need to rebuild another proposal and you want to uh, build this same proposal, just hit the three dots here and you can clone it. 